notice here I didn't say input and output because input output suggests that I have something which is the input then I process it somehow and I produce a different output based on it well not the case in data store they are simply places where you put stuff so in the example in front of you uh, I have a process that's called grade online exam and it takes in the submitted exam this is what the student submitted and of course who submitted it the student ID based on their login let's say it produces an output called student grade if I don't do anything with that student grade if I don't save it if I don't store it it's gone okay and maybe that's the case in a uh, let's say a mock exam not graded exam that's fine otherwise I do need to store it so it goes into a data store that's an incoming data flow but also if I'm gonna store it forever and never use it then what's the point so I need to get something out of the data store it doesn't have to be the exact same thing because the data store can have different data coming from different places so for example a grade book data store might have different student grades so 20 students took the exam now I have 20 grades inside and later I can get them when I want or a grade book can have all the tests or exam grades for one student so the outgoing data flow is the student grade and they go into a process called calculate final grade for a certain student okay this is again the output of the process calculate final grade all right moving on let's see some correct examples this is a process called check-in customer in a hotel let's say I have the check-in details the name of the customer etc I save it in the guest data store notice here that uh, similar also to database tables the name of the data store is a plural uh, noun okay so guess later let's say when the uh, customer or the guest checks out I will take from this store uh, the room charges that has been saved from other processes and I can use it for the checkout customer uh, process which again when you do check out I can save the total bills into the guest uh, data store so as you can see the data store is there and it can take data from different places another example let's say a hospital where I have an admit patient process uh, these are the admission details and they go into the patient's uh, data store notice here I change the number D2 again order is not important so I could have called D1 D2 D3 as long you of course you don't call a data store D3 if you don't have D1 and D2 and uh, this uh, process is called treat patient it's also providing data to the patient's data store which is the treatment information I have a third process called release patient and this process is taking the patient details from the patient's data store so notice I'm not violating the rules in both examples I have an incoming data flow I also have outgoing data flow at least one more is fine these examples are incorrect let us see why I have a data store called courses I'm taking out of it course information and passing it to another data store well the main problem here is that data stores cannot talk to each other okay in fact in a data flow diagram any communication through a data flow which is the arrow part of the communication must be a process so anything must go th uh, through a process 
in other words one side of the arrow will always have a process on it so this is incorrect okay I have a process the output is student grade it's going into a data store called grades here the problem is I don't have something outgoing of course and this is just to show you um, uh, the rules of the, uh, the DFD uh, again this is the opposite I have an outgoing but I don't have an incoming okay so these are incorrect examples Finally, the entity symbol, like I said before, it can also be called an external entity because it's simply an object outside the system that either provides data to the system or receives data or output from the system. In fact, sometimes we call it terminator because it's that thing, that object outside the system where the data stops or originates the entity symbol these are correct examples I have process payment and basically the bank here is providing uh, data to the system credit card authorization uh, another example where I have a process called produce grade report and the output is grade report and it's going into the teacher entity and the third example process order I have a customer where the customer is providing the order but also the system is providing an invoice for the customer so you see the external entity uh, is either a source or a destination or both so the last example check-in customer providing room number as an output it goes to the hotel guest the hotel guest is providing last name for another process checkout customer so let's say the hotel guest walks into the reception and say okay last name is Audi I would like to know what are my total charges so far or I would like to check out they can do that okay so let's take a look at what I just mentioned uh, here the bank is a source because it's providing the teacher entity is a destination because it's getting the customer is both a source and a destination so the name of the entity uh, like I said before uh, it, we can call it sometimes a terminator because it's either a source a source or a destination or both these are incorrect examples again you might guess here I have an entity and a data store are they allowed to talk to each other no there should be a process in between same thing it doesn't matter where the arrow is coming from there should be a process that is part of any communication and a data flow and again same syntax problem that two entities cannot talk to each other okay this is the end of our lesson thank you